hello 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 to all of my leos this is queen amura coming to you today with a special special summer solstice reading it starts today at uh 5 43 p.m eastern standard time so wherever you are that's when it happens it is the um longest day of the year and you know we're in a leap year um also it is a perfect time to hit the reset button on everything like we're in the middle of the month, it's the perfect time to hit the reset reset button. Now we know that we have planets in retrograde right now. We have Mercury that's gone retrograde. We have Venus that's gone retrograde. We have Jupiter that's gone retrograde. We have Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto that have gone retrograde. So a lot of things are happening right now. And if your planet, if you're if if you're a, a zodiac sign associated with one of those planets, things are still going to happen for you. Um, I know that a lot of a lot of us readers have been sharing some really good news um, with all of you, and those things are going to happen for you, um, and they're likely to happen for you, but they may be happening a little slower. Again, if your astrological sign is directly tied, if your ruling planet is retrograde right now, those things are going to happen for you. Um, they're just happening at a slower pace, so I want you to keep your vibrations high and keep the hope alive. All right, again, <clears throat> this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you today for a special summer solstice reading for my Leos. What do we know about our Leos? Now, Leos are very caring. Um, they're very optimistic. They're natural leaders. They're very kind and protective um, of their friends and family. They're very loyal. They're very honest. They're vivacious. Um, and they are attention seeking in a good way. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the Mystic Monday cards on today. I'm going to be using several types of cards, but these are the Mystic Monday tarot cards. I also have the um, Affirmators tarot cards. I'll be pulling a card from that. Also, we have the Moonology um, card, Oracle cards, and I also have the um, um, these oracle cards here, these sacred vision oracle cards. Okay, all right. So let's put this to the side for a second and let's go, Leo. Okay, so Most High God in the universe and ancestors, please give me a special reading for my Leos, specifically in areas of love and money. In areas of love and money. Any information that you want to share with me, Most High God in the universe and ancestors, for my Leos. Let's get into it, Leos. Let's just get right into it. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have some major arcanas for you. Um, we have some major arcanas for you. We have the Justice card, which is a which is attached to the, our Libras, and I also have the Star card, which is attached to the Aquarius. So let's put this here. I want to sit this up here for you so you can see. Justice card <clears throat> is attached to the Libra scales are balanced. Let's see if we can straighten this out a little bit here. I'm just move this over like that. Okay. Okay. All right, Leo. Okay. All right. So it looks like, um, it looks like Leo, uh, at the first, at first glance, this is the, um, Ten of Swords that, Hmm. That someone left you for dead. Someone close to you actually left you for dead. Okay, so remember I said like in some of the um some of the character traits for Leo is that they are very loyal, that they're attention seeking. So the attention seeking part can be looked at as a low or high vibration, okay? Depending on the intent behind it. So a lot of Leos that I know like to um they dress very nice. They keep their appearance up very, very nice. They're friendly, smiling, you know, good energy, that kind of thing. And 
there are some people around you that are close that just can't handle that, right? That's that's close to you, okay? This Six of Cups um, represents um, something that's familiar to you, a familiarity or um, duality. Um, but it, it's something very, I want to get in close so that you can see um, these two cups right here. Um, it also represents innocence. So there is an innocence about you, Leo, that you are not seeing who's close enough to you to do this to you. These people, whoever these people are, really just don't mean you any good, okay? This King of Cups here, this King of Cups energy, I want to get in, oh, I'm going to get in close here, um, is mindfulness. So the Cups card is attached to the water element, which is your journey to emotions and creativity, right? You are in a space, uh, remember I said like, you know, it's time, you know, what is a perfect time to hit the reset button. You're really, really in a space, Leo, of like <sighs> mindfulness, like controlling your emotions. Like there's a lot, you have a lot of emotions in this cup, but you have learned to control them. Like something that you've done, you went in physically and mentally and you're controlling, you can learn how to control your emotions, but you have an innocence about you um, that is not allowing you to see those people, see them before they did this to you. I don't think this is the first time I've seen this for the Leo card, but look. The nine of pentacles. So despite them doing this to you, it still didn't stop your money. It still didn't stop your vibrant, like your vibrancy, your colors. Like this is why people think that Leo is attention seeking. Because no matter what you do, you're still a star. <laughs> you're still a star. And they can't help but to notice, when, notice you when you walk in the room. Right. Let me let me pull some more cards for you. And what I'm getting is that you've been betrayed and stabbed in the back by people close to you. Um, you don't want to lose that childlike innocence that you have, but they gotta go. They they have to go. Leo is right in there with the fire um signs, like like Aries and Sagittarius, very sweet people until you like really get on their reserve nerve. And then it's like a, another person comes out and then it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What did I just do? Yeah. So, um, hmm. Most high God in the universe. Give me some more information about for my Leos as it relates to love and money. We know that their money is not affected by people stabbing them in the back, people close to them, but there's an innocence about them. Um, see, a lot of us don't have to be in misery and pain. Like seriously, it really is just a matter of loving ourselves enough to cut people off. It really, really is. But guess what? Here's the good news though. No matter what they do, the scales are balanced in your favor. No matter what they do, no matter how many, no matter what they do, the scales are balanced in your favor. But yeah, hitting that reset button for you would just make things a whole lot easier for you. Like, who, need, who needs people around you who just don't want to see? <laughs> okay. Here's your card. Major Arcana. This is you. Confirmation. Strength card is the Leo card. Let's put this up here. Right there. Boom. All right. Look. Leo. You're very ambitious. This is your um, wands card. This is the fire card. It represents journey to spirituality and taking action, right? Remember I said no matter what they do, they can't stop your money. This is you, like building money, multiple streams of income, ten of pentacles. The pentacles represents your journey to money and wealth. They can't stop your money. 
no matter what they do, no matter how much they talk about you behind your back, no matter how much they stab you in the back, they still cannot stop the money. They really should just stop, for real. They should just really stop. Eight of Pentacles. You have so many gifts that um, this could be a gift of compassion. It could be a, it could be an artsy gift. It could be a gift of gab, whatever gifts that you have. Um, it's attached to your spirituality and the fact that you will take action. You know, it may it may be slower in taking action, especially when um, people are close to you are stabbing you in the back or who have stabbed you in the back. Um, it may be a little slower because you're shocked, but they still can't stop your money. No matter what, they can't stop your money. Look, <clears throat> and then when I see this, you know, the Eight of Cups, and I look, I see the fact that you know, you're sitting on the edge just kind of thinking about everything, introspection. You know, you're thinking about your deeper purpose in life. Again, you're a fire sign, so that's your journey by birth is your journey to spirituality and taking action, right? So, like I said, is a fire sign, you know, you you are very, very sweet. Like, everybody who is vibrating at a high frequency, regardless of what your sign is, you're a very kind person. I believe people are innately good. But there are certain things that can trigger and set you off. And this right here triggered and set you off. Okay? This Eight of Cups. Okay? They should not have done that to you at all. Because when you start, when you, this, like I said, is a card of introspection. You're thinking about a deeper purpose. The only thing people do when they stab you in the back, they really just do it to themselves, really, because you have taken off everything. This is this is you be in, in your in your sign of humility is you are completely naked, thinking about your deeper purpose in life, thinking about all the access that you have to other things because of all of these gifts that you have and just thinking, I wish I could have taken these people with me. But I'll say it for you. Oh, well. Princes of Pentacles. More money. More money. More money. They can't stop it. More money. More money. More money. I just want to put this up here. More money. They can't stop it. No matter how hard they want to try, stab you in the back, Leo, they just can't stop your money. Because not only can they not stop your money, it also represents your thirst for knowledge. It represents the fact that you're very, very grounded and you're very practical, right? So it doesn't matter that when you walk into a room, people sit up straight and smile like, oh, the Leo is here, right? That's just who you are. That's just your energy. You just command like attention. You can't help it. And it's not like, it's not in a mean spirited way. It's just, that's just who you are. But um, these people close to you can't handle it. And that, and that's just sad. It's just sad for them. But innately, you have the strength. You can't help that you're a star. And you shine, actually, you shine brighter in darkness. But who wants to be in darkness? But this per, these people that did this to you, the scales are continuously balanced in your favor because these same knives that they use to stab you in the back just cut them off and their karma came back around this is them somebody did the same thing to them what goes around comes around that's what happened to them all right let's get to the affirmators why does this card want to pop <laughs> okay i think i got this one time for you for you before um, I don't have another one. Let me put these on the, some of these, let me put this. Okay. So strength and you're the star. Let me, um, I'm going to put this card right here. The high priestess. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Ooh, the high priestess card is attached to the, um, cancer. Okay. You see the moon there. Okay. This is a new beginning for you. Like I said, the same knives that they use to stab you in the back is the same knives that somebody did the same thing to them, but they actually cut themselves off from you. This is what I really want you to see, Leo. Let me pull this card closer. Yeah, 
those same knives that they they stabbed you in the back you have um your divine goddess your intuition is on a thousand okay um and you're serene like this is a place of serenity like i said there's a certain innocence attached to you um leo this is what the card is telling me that um no matter what people do they cannot stop your money they can't stop your shine no matter what they do and the same knives that they use to stab you in the back are the same knives that they actually uh, that, that serve to cut them out of your life but also somebody turned around and did this right back to them leo mm -mm -mm. that's what i'm saying sometimes you just gotta sometimes people will do it to themselves even if you're innocent and you don't see your third eye isn't open and you can't see what people are trying to do, or they mean you, they mean to hurt you around you. It doesn't even matter what they try to do because the universe balances everything out. Look, the universe balances everything out and it balances it out in your favor, Leo. They didn't even realize by stabbing you in the back, they were actually stabbing themselves in the back or setting themselves up to be stabbed in the back. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Okay, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Look at these waning moons. Look at this waning moon right here. Look at this waning moon on this card. Do I see another waning moon somewhere in the card? Where did I see it? Yep, just confirmation. New beginning. You need to, you need to get rid of some people around, around you. You really, really do. It's not that they're going to stop you from being blessed. And even though you have complete control and command of your emotions, you're the king of cups. You have command of your emotions. You're out here doing things to push mankind forward and they can't handle it. That's why I'm saying, what do you need to release? Now, what? let's see what the sacred oracle cards have. Leo, I am so happy for you because you are stacking your money. You are happy. You're blessed. You are highly favored. Like I said, the sun is behind you. You know, um, you're, you've manifested wealth. Mm, mm, mm. But it's that innocence about you that just won't cut people off. So you allow people to cut themselves off, cut themselves out of your life. Harmony. Your life is in perfect harmony. Okay. Again, no matter what these people tried to do because they thought you were naive and didn't see it and you were too innocent to see the little games being played it didn't matter the universe fixed it for you <laughs> the universe fixed it for you so that you can continue shining so that you can continue with your innocence about you because they knew that had you gone from zero to a thousand on those people that stabbed you in the back, it would have made you look bad and it would have sent negative karma your way. But so the universe took care of it for you. Scales are balanced in your favor. You can continue shining, being a star, continue with your strength. You know, um, like I said, high priestess. So it does, like I said, it doesn't matter what they try to do. Your intuition is on 10, but the fact that your intuition is so high, mm, the fact that your intuition is so high and you're seeing things because you're a divine goddess, you're still able to keep your, keep your emotions intact and let the universe handle them. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leos. This has been Queen Amon Ra coming to you with the special summer solstice reading this has been a wonderful reading for you because this is good this is good you have not had to step outside of um being blessed by the universe because you you were patient enough to allow the universe to pay those people back amazing 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 wow Thank you so much, Leos. Again, this is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you today with a special reading for my Leos. This is a special summer solstice reading for all of my astrological signs, but this particular one is for my Leos um, and for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're a cross watcher, thank you so much. Welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. 
you know, these videos so that other people in your life can be blessed by the videos. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.